Hello ladies and gentlemen, it's Mike here at Game From Scratch, and today we have another Humble bundle of interest to game developers. I know Humble likes to blitz them all together, we had one yesterday, we have another one today, and this one is the Complete Game Making Collection, and realistically, what you're here for is probably Game Guru Max, which honestly, I'm actually a bit of a fan of. I think it's a really cool engine, especially for beginners or for prototyping your content, but there's a number of game engines in this bundle. Now what you see here is you've got Game Guru Max, App Game Kit Studio, App Game Kit, and a number of tools for App Game Kit plus DLC. There original uh, kind of no-code game engine game guru uh, and then finally you're getting app game kit VR app game kit classic and so on we'll get back to what some of those other things are in just a minute but first I'm gonna focus on uh, game guru max because this is the most current version it's actually still in early access so that's kind of impressive here you can see the hub here's where you can load demo projects that have already been created uh, or you can obviously create your own. Uh, one of the major things about Game Guru Max is you've got things like this storyboarding system. One of the things you're going to find with it is it's just kind of aimed at beginners to start with, but you can actually make it more uh, complex by enabling a bunch of developer options in the options. By the way, you're going to see I have everything enabled. So you see here, your storyboarding here, your, your various different menus, literally just tiles and cards that flow together. Here is your main game. Uh, so let's go ahead and open that one up. As you can see, you can also export and save your game out right here. So here we're going to open up the Jungle Fever game. Uh, so again, Game Guru Max is in... Um, Early access, so we're going to load up right there. Uh, but it's been in early access for a couple of years. So this is basically one of those things that's a permanent early access system. Now, you may have noticed in the title I used the reference to Wicked. Uh, that's because the underlying game engine here that graphically powering this is the Wicked engine. Uh, here you can see a game in action. There's a lot of uh, graphical options going on here. Uh, it's got easy placement. And basically, you can just structure your game world by using... Uh, things like these uh, travel nodes, you got various different waypoints you can set up, uh, victory conditions and so on, or you can add entities into your world, and those are controlled via behavior. So this guy right here, let's see if he has any behaviors yet. So he's got a behavior attached to him. You can change out the behaviors easily. By the way, you can also go ahead and write your own behaviors if you want. So here you see like hostages running away, get close and speak, melee attack, uh, range attack, zombie attack, and so on. Uh, and there's a number of them defined here. You can also write them in um, the Lua programming language. As you can see, graphically, it's actually, uh, especially compared to the original Game Guru, uh, it's pretty nice to look at. And there's a lot of... Uh, functionality here as well. You've got a train editor in here. Uh, so all your train editing, very simple. So you see here, we're raising the train there. Uh, your brush controls are over here. So let's do like a smaller size brush. You can just raise a smaller bit of the train right there. You can punch holes in the train, elevate it. You can paste uh, trees and such across the world, populate the world in with shrubs and trees. I need to increase my brush to make that. Oops, okay. So now it's kind of stacking trees on top of trees on top of trees. So you're not seeing the, the end result of this one that well. There we go. So you see I'm populating in trees as I go. Um, so you got tree painting. You've got uh, vegetation or foliage, if you so prefer to call it. Uh, and then placing entities in the world is also super simple. So here's example. Here's Bert. I don't know what Bert is, but there we just added a Bert into the world. Um, so number of entities right here. Now another thing that you're getting in this Humble Bundle is actually... Um, I like DLC packs. So you can see over here, you got a ton of other content that you can import in. So for example, Shanty, oh, the military collection, I can open that one up and you're going to find here, we have a number of more like military base kind of things. So if I want to bring this uh, lookout tower in, I can do so. So that's one another thing you're getting in this humble bundle uh, is a bunch more content. And if you're, especially when you're just starting out, having all of this uh, content available to place and use in your game is actually a pretty big deal. So it's kind of like, um, my first 3D game engine. Uh, it's not the most overwhelmingly performant thing you've seen in your life. You know, so performance could definitely improve over time. And I hope that's one of those things you're going to see uh, with the, um, you know, as early access advances. Uh, but it, it is capable and rather cool. And then you've got controls over here. For example, I've got uh, weather controls. I can make it raining if I wish. Uh, we've got control over the environment. Um, so I can go back over here. Eventually, there's going to be other template types too. This is really kind of set up for more of a first person style games, but in the future they're going to have RPG, uh, shooter and puzzle game uh, templates as well. Uh, you got control over the lighting in the world. So one of these should give me, okay, post processing effects. So you see some of the graphical effects that are available here. SSR, reflections, FXA, uh, lens flares, you can set up uh, auto exposure like so. Uh, you got control over um, anti-aliasing and so on uh, and then we got control over the skybox that we could use here we can change out the skyboxes um, 
you got kind of a decent amount of control with these tools, to be honest. You got uh, control over where water shows up. Uh, it's just, it's sort of easy to use. Again, you could get in here, use all predefined behaviors, use waypoints and setups and so on, and just start creating games without any uh, real programming knowledge at all. I'm actually, I'm kind of interested to see, maybe do like a video in the near future with like a half an hour or an hour, what kind of a game I could create using Game Guru Max. Let me know if you'd be interested in something like that. Uh, so that is kind of the star of the show, but let's go back and take a look at what other aspects we have in this guy. Uh, so there's Game Guru Max, and then we got the 3D model booster pack, which I show, showed you really briefly when I said add objects and I grabbed that watchtower. Uh, there's a ton of content in here, by the way. It's uh, 630 objects across a number of different packs there. Uh, then on top of that, you've got App Game Kit Studio. Now, App Game Kit Studio is like a visual level editor uh, and editing environment and code editor that is built on top of App Game Kit. Now, App Game Kit is a combination of like a, a basic and uh, a C. SDK for developing games. It's actually kind of cool. Uh, and then Game Guru is their original version of Game Guru Max. I don't think you would use Game Guru at this point in time. You may use some of the DLC content, although a lot of it is starting to look a little bit on the dated side as well. Uh, so I'm not sure how interested you'd be in the Game Guru stuff if you were here for Game Guru Max personally. Uh, but there is a lot of it here as well. Uh, and it is also a very easy to use game engine. Both of them also can be extended using the Lua programming by language, by the way. Then we've got an extension for App Game Kit for virtual reality. Um, there's the old school visual editor, the original App Game Kit. Um, I think the source code for App Game Kit has actually been released as well. Plus, there's two tiers to App Game Kit. One is, again, this basic type programming language, which is actually pretty easy to work with. And the other one is a C API. So if you want to have something like an SFML or SDL kind of low-level programming experience with a huge number of commands, something like 1,100 commands, uh, you could use App Game Kit with C or C++ as well. Uh, then again, obviously, you're getting Game Guru at this point. Uh, a number of mega packs in there as well, and that is ultimately the bundle. Now, when you buy this guy, you get uh, Steam Redemption keys for everything you see here. Unfortunately, you actually get Redemption keys for each DLC pack, so redeeming these things can be a bit of a pain in the butt. Uh, but if you're just here for Game Guru Max, literally it's just two uh, redemptions. All right now, Game Guru Max is actually on sale, but even at the on sale price, it's worse than this. Uh, so this is the cheapest price you are ever going to get it, at least right now anyways, and the least I've ever seen it for. So if you're here just for Game Guru Max, it's probably worth it. Now, in terms of the tiers for Humble Bundle, here at the first tier, you're getting uh, the App Game Kit and Game Guru and a bunch of Game Guru content. So if you want to check out their old stuff, you can get almost like a good chunk of it for just one buck here. Uh, the median tier, you're jumping up and getting the studio kit, plus a bunch of Game Gear Guru, the original Game Guru DLC add-ons, which I do believe can, can again be used in Max, but please don't quote me on that. And then, of course, the final tier, the $25 tier, is where you're getting the... Uh, uh, the Game Guru Max and the Booster Pack there as well. And this is actually, again, this is cheaper than the full price right now for just this. So you're getting this and this for the price of just this on sale. So definitely a good bundle in that regard. This number might be a little bit misleading, but it always is on Humble. By the way, with Humble, you decide how your money is allocated between Humble, Charity, the publisher, and if you so choose, and thank you so much if you do, to help support Game From Scratch using my link down below. So ladies and gentlemen, that is it. That is uh, Game Guru Max. Oops. Uh, it, it's... Uh, again, it's built on top of the Wicked engine, which if you have never seen before, you should definitely check out. Uh, there's a ton of tooling in here I haven't even scratched the surface of. There's like a character creator. Uh, there's um, weapons creators or designers systems in here. There, there's an inventory management system and so on. Each of the characters have tons of animations attached and connected to them that you can configure which ones to use. Uh, it, it's, it's actually a pretty solid engine for what it is. Again, it's not going to take over the world. This isn't going to compete with Unreal Engine, either Unity or Godot. It's not really meant to. This is more for the all-in-one, my first game engine, and in re that regard, it knocks it out of the park, in my humble opinion. So, uh, Game Guru Max, let me know if you'd be interested in a follow-up hands-on video. By the way, I have a ton of video on all of this stuff. I've covered Game Guru Max. I've covered... Um, Game Guru, I have covered App Game Kit and App Game Kit Studio over the, the centuries of this channel being alive. And I will link some of those with the links down below. So let me know what you think, and I will talk to you all later. Goodbye.